A torrent of floodwaters swept through Ellicott City, Maryland, Saturday night sweeping away cars, damaging buildings, and prompting water rescues. Andy Barth Spokesman for Howard County Executive Alan Kittleman of TollWeather.com that one fatality had been confirmed and at least two people were still missing as of 10.20 a.m. EDT. Additionally, at least 120 residents had to be rescued amid the disaster. It's going to take a while to assess everything. There is a lot of damage, Barth said. Seth Hoffman, a government spokesperson for Howard County. In an interview of TollWeather.com gas leaks that occurred in downtown Ellicott City along Main Street and that crews were currently assessing the damage to pinpoint the location of the leaks. Barth confirmed that gas... Oh my god. So, um, my heart? I'm, I'm up top. I'm right here. You'll be alright right there. Oh my god. Gas service had been turned off in the downtown area and it is unclear how long it will be before it is restored. Hoffman said there is extensive structure damage to multiple businesses, residential areas, along with sidewalks and streets. He said some business owners may come back on Sunday to find they have lost everything. We are inspecting that now. But really there is pretty extensive damage around the entirety of Main Street, he said. Howard County Executive Alan H. Kittleman declared a state of emergency due to the flooding allowing access to state resources. Maryland Governor Larry Hogan arrived in Ellicott City early Sunday morning and praised local emergency response while promising the state would do what it could to assist in the recovery efforts. It's total devastation. People's lives in this community are going to be changed forever, Hogan have told the Weather Channel on Sunday morning. Despite the destruction, Hogan also remarked on the heroism of locals amid a disaster that will likely go down as the worst in the suburb's history. There were incredible rescues, people being rescued out of cars with human chains reaching from restaurants to try to get people out of cars, Hogan said. A lot of heroes last night that saved a lot of lives. The flooding was the result of slow-moving thunderstorms in the region. More than six inches of rain fell in Ellicott City in a short period of time. The department reported also playing a water break in Ellicott City that disrupted water service to many homes. No updates have been provided as to the status of the break. Those in need of temporary shelter in the Ellicott City area are advised to go to the Bain 50 Plus Center, located at 5470 Ruth Keaton Way, Columbia, Maryland. Hoffman said the government in the next couple of hours will go through some briefings to see what the next course of action will be.